Hello, I'm Tanya from A Yarn Loving Mama and today I'm going to show you just how simple it is for you to make your own hand spun yarn using a drop spindle. And to do this I'm going to demonstrate using one of the drop spindles that I design and make. And this one is my rainbow model. As you can see it's really, really fun and colourful. And I just think this is such a lovely hobby because you're playing with colour and texture in the form of lots of different natural fibres um, from sort of animal fibres to, to sort of plant fibres or synthetic even. Um, but I prefer to use natural. And here's an example of some of the skeins of yarn that I've created recently. And as you can see, there's all sorts of possibilities for yarn that's handcrafted. You can make them different thicknesses, different colours, different size yarns. Um, you know, the possibilities are literally endless. Um, there's so many different styles that you can also incorporate. Um, so, um, as you gain confidence with your spinning, you, know, you can grow your craft to, to create some very, very unique, beautiful one-off pieces. So let me just show you how easy it is. And one of the really good things about this craft is that there is no need for any expensive initial outlay because um, this this little piece of kit here will do exactly the same uh, for you as, as the spinning wheel behind me does. It essentially makes yarn and even though it will take maybe a bit longer than it would on the spinning wheel, it essentially does exactly the same thing. But I also find that spinning on a drop spindle is just really relaxing and um, therapeutic even. It's just such a lovely way of unwinding at the end of the day and you can sit on the sofa and just relax to um, put a movie on or, or whatever, the, whatever you like and spin away and it's just lovely. Also to take out with you a weekend away it's very portable and it just packs easily away into a day bag um, and that's how it's done. It's just a case of doing what's called drafting, it's what I'm doing here between my fingers on the fibre here, I'm, I'm pulling it away very gently so the parallel fibres slide equally out over themselves to a desired thickness and then I'm allowing any stored twist that I have going on here from that action there of twisting the spindle on the drop spindle. Um, it, the twist travels up into the fibres and um, there you have it, that's, that's actually the action of creating yarn is that you're adding twist to fibre and in doing so you create a lovely strong fabric that's suitable for any crafting purpose. So that's knitting, crochet, weaving, um, so you can go on to make garments, um, home furnishings anything that, that you can dream of making with yarn. But it's a really wonderful way of, of creating something that's as unique as you are. So there's no two skeins that would be alike. It's just really, really wonderful craft. So I hope I've inspired you today to try it. And um, I look forward to, to seeing more spinning crafters out there in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.